Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with another Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 multiplayer trailer. Okay, I'm down for that. At the time I'm recording this, we are now uh, less than a month away from the release of the game. And like I've been saying, this is my most anticipated title of, uh, of the year. You know, this year in gaming has been, um, I don't know, kind of... Kind of meh. Not a whole lot's really come out, you know. At least, at least to me. But um, yeah, Space Marine Two is the game I have been looking forward to this this entire year. So to be less than a month away from it now is super exciting. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah, let's check out the uh, multiplayer trailer. Here we go. <laughs> Your mission is to use the stored Prometheum in the refinery to destroy the enemy Ooh, swarm. Thunder hammer. Trigger detonation only when the main swarm has entered the blast zone. Emperor, preserve us all. I am honored to have Lord Titus command our unit. He has clearly served long and with distinction. Master Militarum camp. There is sure to be an ambush. I have been dying to carve up some Xenos. Oh, the jump pack. Oh, my space marine needs robes. I need robes on my space marine. I Gotta go dark ninja. Carnifex is slavery more working. Today, we Ooh, slay a giant. Carnifex. It's gonna be some very interesting fights. I wonder if these fights are gonna be like, um, you know, like you gotta hit it in the front, you know, because on the back it's got a strong carapace, so if you like shoot it in the back, little to no damage at all. Judging by the look of it. It looks like it's that way. It looks like the entire fight we're shooting at, obviously, at the front, not the back. Take heart. The flame will stand against them. Better than any war. Time to teach them fear. There is an observation platform overlooking the Cryptomethium fields. It will make a good vantage for your ambush. Dig in. Oh my god, look at the swarm technology stuff. Look at that, just seeing everything in the background just looks badass. You know, it makes it feel like a Tyranid invasion. Because I did play a lot of World War Z. Oh, it is so cool. There needs to be a, um, um, what is it, like a horde mode, survival mode, or something like that. We need to put one of those in, especially for something like this. You know, where you just survive wave after wave after wave. And as the waves get, you know, increasingly more and more difficult, I would play the shit out of that. You two other people, just survive for as long as you can. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I love those killing blows. Detonate the bomb. <laughs> I am going to enjoy watching these oh. tyrannies ride in the flame. Oh, oh. I just, this is the spaces. I stand Damn, amidst the like the bomb. Excellent work. Move to extract. Look at that sword. Person's mode. Eternal War. Of course it's Ultramarines. Always Ultramarines. I am executing the Emperor's will. Arm to arm with his finest. Pose the advantage. The plague room looks so cool. That chain sword. Engage on our terms of Let's see what other chaos space room chapters there are. I do like the coin though. Oh, okay, so he can go uh, invisible. So I wonder if each uh, chapter are going to have like their own special abilities. You know, like Titan Marines obviously going to be tough to kill. Imperial Magis assault our territory. New objective one. This is a really cool. Victory! Okay, yeah. Get to upgrade your levels and stuff. Okay, so there we go. September 9th. Season pass. I wonder what else is going to be in the season pass. Like, what else are they? Wonder what else they're going to add to uh, to the game and stuff like that. I'm very curious. More story campaign. I mean, they could they could keep going with probably like the story and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm very curious to see what else is going to be in uh, what you get in the season pass and stuff like that. So uh, that'll be interesting. You know, more story. Story DLC, multiplayer DLC. I don't know. Like I said, I want like a survival horde mode and stuff like that. You know, you and two other people just, like I said, surviving wave after wave and stuff like that. I think that'd be really fun. But yeah, I mean, overall, the game just looks, you know, absolutely fantastic. Uh, fighting the Carnifex and stuff like that is going to be so cool. Customization looks awesome. Like I said, I can't wait to do, you know, my Dark Angel. I want robes. I want a hood. <laughs> I want all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see, like, um, what is it? Fight, like, a Hive Tyrant and stuff like that. Can you just imagine that? Because, I mean, the Carnifex looks... Looks huge. So, just imagine seeing, like, a Hive Tyrant and trying to fight one of those things. That would be pretty cool. Uh, some of the killing animations and stuff like that are awesome. Like when they take out the um, the Carnifex and ripping off like the giant claws and stuff like that is so badass. Um, 
yeah, a lot of the killing animations are just really cool. There was one uh, further into the video where um, I think it is the Dark Angel. No, it might be. The, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but he picks up one of the uh, the Gaunts by like the back of the neck and just completely like guts it, and it just looks so cool. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Ripped off its claw and stuff like that. I wonder if I can uh, find it. I do like, you know, the swarm uh, swarm technology and stuff like that, because just seeing, you know, just all the Tyrannids is just running in the background and stuff like that. You know, it's like, okay, this is a Tyranid invasion, you know? There are thousands, millions of them, you know? So it makes it feel like there is a war going on, you know? Uh, yeah, I think it was like right around here where... Uh, that little kill animation popped up. I forget where. I know it was right around here somewhere. It might have been this guy. Oh, there it is. Boom! It's just so cool. Uh, but yeah, from what I've seen, stuff like that, the customization looks really cool. You, know, you can have sword and shield, thunder hammer and jump packs and stuff like that. So the possibilities are endless. But yep, this is the game I am definitely looking forward to the most. And we are now less than a month away. I'm pumped. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I just love those kill animations. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, that is so cool. And then, of course, yep. I detonate the bomb. That's so cool. It's like a carpet bomb mixed with napalm. <laughs> oh, it just looks so good. All right, so anyways, there we go. There is the uh, multiplayer, a new multiplayer trailer. So that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to the game? Not looking forward to the game? Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? The campaign? Uh, multiplayer and stuff like that? Is there anything, um, you know, they would uh, you would hope they would add into the game? What do you want to see in the game? Um, you know, just, just leave me all your thoughts and comments, you know? I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the game and stuff like that. And... What are you going to do first in the game? Um, you know, which chapter are you going to make your uh, Space Marine stuff like that? Are you going to go with one of the original chapters? Are you going to make your own chapter? Let me know. Let me know. I'm curious to uh, hear what you guys are going to do. You know, are you going to go Sword and Shield? Are you going to go Ranged? Are you going to go Thunder Hammer? Are you going to go jet pack, uh, Jump Pack? Um, heavy Weapons? What are you going to do? Let me know. So, anyways, on that, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. It'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links in the description box below. And on that, um, yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I will see you guys next time.